Hi, it's Tatiana Garlov here from Vegan Recipes and today I'll be making turmeric latte. It's the best latte I ever had. <laughs> Not because I'm making it, because it's really, I'm be honest with you, it's really that good. I tried a few times and I did it with uh, the turmeric powder. But the secret here is not the turmeric powder, it's the root itself. So I tried it to make it again and said, well, I'll try to have the, I'll add the root itself instead of the powder because I had it and for the food, for our Indian dishes. And I said, okay, I'll try this one. We'll see what's the flavor. And it just came out amazing, delicious. And my sister-in-law, she's an expert in teas. <laughs> So when I served it and I asked her opinion and she always honest with me, she said it's even better than from the store or the restaurant. So she loved it. My other sister-in-law loved it and my mother-in-law enjoyed it very much. Please subscribe to my channel, follow my Instagram and if you wanna see new recipes uh, in your email, please subscribe to my newsletter. Let's begin. So here we have turmeric root and ginger and then we have uh, coconut sugar, turmeric powder, and milk mixed with water. So I'll be chopping it. I'll, I'm gonna add one uh, pinky size uh, turmeric. You can add more, depends what, uh, if you want strong flavor, I'll be using for now one, that's what I usually make. And I'll be cutting it in half, so very small piece. I'm not gonna be peeling it, I'm just gonna be dicing it with, uh, with the skin. Again, it depends on you what flavor do you want it. I like it um, rich and full of flavor. And it depends also if you want it to feel the spiciness of uh, ginger. So also again, it depends on the size. You want bigger, smaller. And I noticed a little bit pinch of sp uh, spiciness in the tea. It's very refreshing. So now I'm gonna be adding it into the pot, into a small pot, turning on on uh, medium heat. And here I have uh, water and uh, vegan milk. You can have almond milk, you can have uh, oat milk. I tried both and both went really, really good. Pinch of turmeric and it just for the color. So really just a little bit. Now I'm using coconut sugar, why? Because I noticed the flavor is, uh, is uh, sweet, but not overly sweet. It's really, really uh, light sweet. And I notice when I'm adding, for example, cane sugar or agave nectar, it feels like it's too sweet for me. And this one, it's lighter sweet and really delicious. It's very unique flavor for me. So I recommend coconut sugar, but if you don't have, or it's, uh, it is expensive. So add just sugar, um, just maybe a few tablespoons or like one, two to three, depends what the quantity, or agave nectar or maple syrup. <laughs> I tried with a few, my, my, uh, my favorite is coconut sugar. Now I'll be, I'll cover it and I'll bring it to a boil. As you can see, it's still a little bit white. If you want it more yellow, uh, you can add a little bit more uh, turmeric powder. So now I'm just gonna cover and I'll bring it to boil. So as you can see, it's bubbling, means it's ready. You can let it boil for a few minutes to have a more rich flavor into it, but otherwise it's ready. So now I'll pour it through strainer. You see the leftovers here? I'm not gonna be throwing it away. What I'm doing is I'm leaving it for the next day. So I'll be doing the same quantity. I'm just gonna be adding a little bit more um, ginger root and turmeric root, sugar, turmeric powder, water and milk, and that's it. 
So I'm gonna be re reusing it. I'll be serving it with chocolate chip oat cookies. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel and comment below. Cheers guys, till next time.